morning in our new video of class 7th SST and in that we are taking civics portion friends what is civics that is nagrik sans about the citizen for country rights duties for our citizens and well being of our citizens is being taught in civics or learned in civics now today we have chapter 3 and that is state government and its responsibilities So, students, in previous video, we have discussed about powers of the state government and responsibilities of the state governments. In that, we have seen our union list, state list, and concurrent list. And after that, and this was also responsibilities of state government. And it is, you know, <coughs> divided. The authority of them was divided in union list and concurrent list and state list. and in the services of state in the responsibilities of state there is also health care services and it is primary duty of state to take their citizens in well being in health care to giving them best health care services is the aim and responsibility of state students in your course book page number 146 our topic is health care services one of the major goals of the state governments is to provide high quality health care services to the people so what is the main goal major goals of state government is to provide high quality health care services to the people that means the transport of that facility of health care would be better the distance of hospital from nearby area and you know locality should be uh, limited and if there is any type of calling facility so if someone is calling to a hospital for emergency services so hospital should have to uh, present there for the patient so this is uh, health care service and students this is the major goal of state government it ha they has they had they had to provide health care services to the people and that that is why government hospitals are there and if somebody is ill and somebody is having any kind of diseases so they have they have to go to the hospitals government hospitals and all facilities are there but if state government is not responsible or not doing good so it may be possible that some facilities in government hospitals nowadays we see is not good but in some state if we go so we see that the government hospitals are well modified and well running and the patients are going there in emergency cases they are taking their patients immediately and at the same time doing well treat good treatments so students this is duty of state to take well being of its citizens health and this is what is health is defined by who who world health organization 
विश्व स्वास्थ्य संगठन दट इज डब्ल्यू एच ओ वट इज हेल्थ इज डिफाइंड बाई डब्ल्यू एच ओ नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू से वट इज हेल्थ द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डब्ल्यू एच ओ हैज डिफाइंड हेल्थ एज अ स्टेट ऑफ कंप्लीट फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल वेलबींग नॉट मेरली द एबसेंस ऑफ डिसीज और इम्यूनिटी so if we talk about health so firstly we have to say that if someone is not in any kind of disease if someone is in proper health there is no any kind of immunity of outside or infection so that means someone is in health in healthy position but who has defined some other way of health WHO said that uh, health is a state of complete physical mental and social well being physical mental and social well being social well being what is physical sadhi mental मानसिक सोशल वेलबींग सामाजिक तरक्की या दिस थ्री कंडीशन शुड बी बेस्ट टू बी बेटर इन ऑल काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन वी कैन से समन इज हेल्थी the physical mental and social will be should be there and <coughs> we see that healthcare in india we talk about healthcare in india so before that we have to know the aims of provision of healthcare facilities in india are to so what is aim of india's healthcare what india's healthcare wanted to facilitate and what is the demerits and what is what are lacks and you know what are destinies which is not till now completed and what is aim of our healthcare is talked here and we see that reduce infant mortality rate so students we have to reduce you know the you know born child that which is uh, there some you know, we see in hospitals uh, on 100 children if there is born in a hospital so it may be possible some you know child may be when to die so that is infant mortality rate and this is high in india and we have to reduce our aim is to reduce this rate this death rate of child children who are Uh, when they die in born you know state of born and you know when they born so this is uh, high in india as we produce and our healthcare facilities is uh, aimed for that and we see reduce malnutrition among children of 0 to 3 years to half of its present level so what is malnutrition kuposhan as you know in children they need all type of nutrients that is vitamin protein carbohydrates and those fats and in those you know nutrients are not getting to all children so that when they got uh they can get more nutrition they will suffer with more nutrition and this is also aim of our country's healthcare that we have to reduce this one nutrition and we have to give full nutrient full nutrition to all children from 0 to 3 years and what is the exact rate of malnutrition this time if you have 100% our aim is to make it 50% that means reduce at half level which is at present so if, for example if we see if we say that uh, 
in hundred children there are thirty children which are malnutrition, which is which are not taking full nutrition. So, so we have to uh, make this target at least we, we have to reduce fifteen students. I mean there is fifteen children. That, uh, that is our target. If there is thirty percent, we have to take that percent up to fifteen percent. And next year, this we you know increase. And then we say reduce anemia among women and girls. What is anemia, students? If this anemia. This is a disease. If you see the Hindi meaning of that, khun ki kami, lack of blood in our body, and by that this disease occurs. And anemia is mainly, you know, being there in women who are going to. Uh, who are going to give birth of you know born to some students sorry some children and babies so that is uh, in that cases women needed more blood and in that cases some some time if they, uh, they are suffered with anemia so in, in time of pregnancy it can be uh, cause you know uh, bad effect for health of both of you know that baby and that mother so that is why before you know, before the birth of a child, uh, mother has to be uh, you know fulfilled in blood, uh, in her you know physic and in her body. And if there is, uh, if we see percentage of anemia this time, so it is not uh, so less. We have to reduce more, which is needed. So it is also an aim and. Next, we see raise the sex ratio in the age group of 0 to 6 years. So, uh, we know that the ratio of gender inequality that uh, in India, uh, 1000 boys, there are 972 uh, or 900 uh, something, which is less. If there are 1000 students, so there are, sorry, 1000 boys, there are 972 girls. So, this is in general inequality and we can say six ratio also this thing. So this have to be reduced, this have to be uh, overcome, this have to be you know, equal. So this is also our target. Providing clean drinking water to all. As you know on this earth only 2% water or 3% water is you know potable. So that is why provide clean drinking water is also aim of our country's healthcare. Now our topic healthcare in India. There is a need for appropriate healthcare services through hospitals, healthcare centers, laboratories and medical professionals such as doctors, nurses and paramedical experts. It is the responsibility of the government to ensure the availability of such resources. So government is responsible to make you know hygienic hospitals and the experts, medical experts in their nurses, medicines, all type of equipments of you know treatment, uh, cardiogram uh, and all the type of machines should be there and this is this is duty of state government to ensure this type of facilities, availability of such resources in the state, this is duty of state. And the government acts as a primary provider of healthcare facilities and place. And if we talk about these healthcare services, this is both in, uh, you know, this is both in state governments and central governments because labor welfare is in concurrent place. So both would be in, you know, state and uh, central government both. But mainly we see. The duties of state government and the government acts as primary provider of healthcare facilities and plays a leading role in improving the healthcare system in India. The government has set up many hospitals, clinics, and sub centers throughout the country and controls their operations. It also ensures that funding for healthcare is secure and appropriately distributed. So, by the time of government, Every year, they should have passed some budget for healthcare, and government has to check it that is it uh, uh, taking or distributing in same way or same proper way. 
this is duty of government to check it and this, the duty of government is also there to make hospitals, clinic and sub-centers throughout the country and to, and to also control the operations of there and it also ensures that funding for healthcare is secure and appropriately distributed. So funding and economical uh, you know, helps which are there by government and citizens, the taxes which are collected. So this is duty of government to uh, you know expense to do expense of money which is funded for healthcare in proper way, in appropriate way, and there should not any type of corruption. And at the same time, uh, all the services should be enriched to the nearby citizens and nearby uh, people. So this is you know healthcare in India. And this is duty of government to provide healthcare for our citizen. And then our topic moves affordability of healthcare services. So we are talking about affordability of healthcare services in India. So services mainly depends upon the cost of treatment, ability of households to manage these costs and its impact on livelihood of households. So this is important there, the people who are living in a country, it is important there, what is the rate, what is the price of the medicines and equipment of the medicine, to the people are they, are they able to purchase those medical treatments, are they not able to purchase the statement this is depend on the government uh, uh, and their people how they provide facilities and how the people are able to get those facilities and depends on the livelihood of the livelihood of that how near by households the people who are living near the houses of uh, that area so affordability of healthcare services mainly depends upon the cost of treatment so if the cost of treatment is more, so it is not easy to or to the, you know, get the treatment of there. And it is the duty of state governments to ensure access to affordable healthcare services in the respective states. So in government hospitals, there is duty of government that is to provide appropriate facilities and affordable healthcare that people easily can survive in that. And healthcare services in India are of two types public healthcare services and private healthcare services. So, public healthcare services is government hospitals and government services which is provided somehow free, very less cost there, just cost of registration 5 rupees, 10 rupees, or 25 rupees. And in some government hospitals, some things have to be purchased also, but it, it is very, uh, you know, in, in, in reasonable uh, sense, you can say. but Private healthcare services, that is, private hospitals are uh, costly. It is costly to go there, but you know, rich people can afford, but uh, poor people cannot afford. But in government hospitals, there is same facility for poor and rich. So, but it is needed there if there is appropriate facilities. If the government hospitals are, you know, and rich with doctors are standard with doctors and nurses and medical staffs and paramedical experts and medicines and equipments, then people can go there. But if there is not any kind of facilities, people cannot go there. So, two sectors are there in healthcare, public healthcare services and private healthcare services. So, students, in this talk video we have been completed healthcare services and in that we have been seen what is health. Uh, defined by WHO, then healthcare in India, and what is affordability of healthcare services. And in next video, we will see uh, public and private healthcare services. Okay, students, in homework, you have to write a uh, small summary of this topic, and if there is any query, you can ask for my number. 
and even more and more for further better result. So till then we will meet again in the next video. Till then have a nice day. Thank you.